Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So, AMC, what is our expectations going into tomorrow, guys? So, in this video, we're going to do a quick video letting you guys know what we're expecting going into tomorrow. No, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing my opinion with you guys. So, let's go ahead and get into it. We end the day at $19.64, up over 9%. I know it shocked a lot of you, especially judging by the atmosphere of the comments. A lot of people was, you know, down and out this morning just by a little a pullback. And it didn't even do exactly what we intended for it to do. So the comments probably would have got even worse. It healed you. It saved you a little bit. We supposedly came down to around the high 16s, around 1675 and the low 17s, right around 1710, 1705, around that area. We came down to the high 17s. So, you know, it saved us a little bit and then started uptrending throughout the remaining of the day. So, solid day for AMC overall, guys. So, now let's go ahead and take a look at this. But before we go into our prediction, going into tomorrow on what we believe the price action will be, let's go ahead and say something that I forgot to put in on the last video. I was telling you guys how they're going to pick their prey and prey on the, you know, the smallest fish. They're going to let them take the fall for it. And it's crazy because one of the main ones that's been, you know, very uh, shitty in this situation, Melvin Capital, not Melvin Capital, that's the one I'm about to talk about, though, but Citadel, Citadel, one of the biggest fishes. And they the ones, they came in fifth place on last year with their revenue on how much they earned. This year, they came in first. So that's one of the biggest breadwinners. That's somebody they're going to have to protect. But one of the main ones that need to be shut down. So check this out. The one they're going to prey on is the smallest fish. So let's go ahead and look at these facts real quick. Melvin Capital. I know we don't heard about Melvin Capital. They trying to get them. And this is why. Because like I said, they don't bring as much resources. They don't bring as much money to the business. They don't bring, they don't bring enough. They don't bring enough in. That's what it is. So check this out. Melvin Capitals. Who came in 15th last year. Melvin Capital came in 15th place on last year. On the top 15 uh, institutions. That uh, you know made their money. The billions of dollars. They came in 15th. They came in last place guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And this year. Guess what place they came in. Melvin Capital was nowhere to be seen. This year. Plotkin is likely still. Licking his wounds. After the now. Famous short squeeze on meme stock, game stock, crushed his fund in January 2021. So Melvin, not even seen on the list. We we don't even know what Melvin that. Melvin almost bankrupt. So that's uh, be the one that they they pick to go ahead and finish off. We can go ahead and get you out of here. You done, you know, put yourself in the position to where you done lost a lot, lost a lot of other people bread. You might well be the one to take the hit. We all us. Us, we still eating. We still got a lot of customers. Everybody's still messing with us, even though we inside of this scandal too. But if you take the hit, we'll be able to get you right on the back end. They're going to take care of Melvin. Yes, they, they is. If they let him take the fall, they all going to take care of him. So you already know, guys, that's my take on it. This is just my opinion. Not saying that, you know, these ain't, this ain't nothing that, you know, that a lawyer told me or, you know, ain't. Ain't no secret. I ain't got no secret connection or none of that. And this is just my own thoughts and opinions. That's what I do over here on the BHA show. I share my thoughts, my original thoughts with you guys. How have it come out? How have it come across? Let it be, guys. That's why you always go somewhere else and do your own research in DD. And you come here if you want to hear my opinion and what I'm thinking and how I believe it's going to play out. But like I say, they are working together, guys. They will come down on the smallest one. And get him out of there because he not, you know, he not beneficial like the top dogs is, the hierarchies. So let's go ahead and get out into our prediction for the mark. So how do we leave the price section will play out? So we know how I told you guys how we end by resistance and support. We ended the day at 1964, right? So that's right near resistance. That what we had a breakthrough in the after hours. And we broke through it, ran up to 1985. So we came back down and ended right at 1964. But I tell you, when we end near, when we end near resistance, they could always give us a good indication that we could, you know, run up even further on tomorrow. So because we already near 
the point that we got the breakthrough, if that made sense. Closing near support, that would put us, you know, easier and more vulnerable to break through it and go down. But ending near resistance, that's a good indication for a continuation. Of course, we're going to have a little pullback to try and shake the tree. But the pullback won't be as severe as if we close near support, guys. So I'm thinking maybe a little maybe a little deal might come open up straight up tomorrow run like we seen on last week straight out of the gate but if we see any deal i believe it'll be down to around the low 19s maybe the high 18s and then a rocket right back up to 19 20 21 go up and test resistance tomorrow at 22 23 and then i don't think we're gonna break through it not just yet Run up to around 22, 23 after we test resistance. You know we get rejected. Come back down to find support. Once we reject it, we should come back down and find support right around previous resistance, which was around 1965, 20 bucks. So we should come down and find support around the high 19, $20, guys. And hopefully once we find support, we still reroute and end the day at around 21 $22 per share. But... I don't think we will quite do that. I would say we would end right around probably 20 books on a good day or the high 19s, right where we left off on the day, guys. Not much, but we're getting progress. That's what I think will happen on tomorrow going into tomorrow. Hopefully on room, we blast straight through that resistance at 22-23 and say bye-bye to it. And we be off, guys, because I did anticipate on us running up to 28 on this week. But I don't think it's going to be happening tomorrow, obviously, judging by my prediction. But I do think it's still able to happen, guys. So that's all I got for this video. Just want to give you guys a quick video, letting you guys know my thoughts, my opinions going into tomorrow. You already know what to do. Add your boy over on Instagram. Go ahead and join the family over here. Hit subscribe. Do that now. I love y'all. We out. And God bless you. We gone.